The Emmy winner for morning news. You're watching News Channel 5, where the news comes first. The first major storm of winter drops inches of snow across the metro overnight. We have five crews spread out on both sides of the river from Edwardsville to Lincoln County and all along the major interstates to help you navigate the morning commute. Plus, Scott, Bree and Sarah are using the latest technology to track this system as well as road conditions. News Channel 5 at 6 starts now. A well, good Monday morning to you. It's President's Day, February 16th. I'm Nicole Burley. And I'm Pat McGonigal. It figures to be a long weather day. Lots going on. Let's take a live look down Market Street through one of our live cameras. You can barely make yeah, out. It's a little hazy, man. Can't really see the arch. You can sort of see the courthouse, but Scott and Bree are standing by to help us get through what will be a tricky day. Yeah, we're navigating this snowstorm, and this has been really just literally a booger to forecast. Yeah. I mean, it has been, well said, friend. I mean, well said. It has been problematic from the get go, and, you know, and once it got on shore, Saturday night and the computer models were able to sample it. We started to get at least wrapping our hands around it a little bit more. We're still this morning watching some of the snow totals come in and saying yowza. Yowza, especially because the, the last little chunk of energy, the bulk of the energy is still in Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. So that hasn't even pushed through and we've already seen some really impressive totals. 10 and a half inches in parts of Illinois. That's in Dorchester, but we've also seen some spots. I think Webster Groves coming in at an inch and a half. Here's the deal. We're not done yet. We've got at least six more hours of snow across the area. It will slowly wind down in the early afternoon from northwest to southeast, but we've got more snow coming. It's that light powdery snow too, Scott. And it piles up pretty quickly. Lambert's now up to 3.8 inches storm total with this, and you don't have to go far. You go another 20 or 30 miles farther north and you're up over eight inches in a lot of yeah, spots. Troy, Missouri coming in at eight inches. And in particular, if you have any pictures of what it looks like outside your window or your front door or even at the office, we'd really like to see them. Use hashtag KSDKWX. WX is the abbreviation for weather. You can use that on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. We'll find the picture. We want to show folks what it looks like. This is Lambert. We've got snow coated roads. Sarah's been navigating a mess of wrecks this morning and Scott uh, unfortunately, we're going to be tracking on the radar literally, as I said, all afternoon. Yeah, let's break it down for you right now. You can see where we have the darker blue showing up on the radar screen right now. That's where the heaviest snow is falling. And a lot of that is going to be down across our southern counties as we head through the remainder of the morning. Earlier during the overnight, a lot of it was to the north of us. We've had some patches of that slipping through the metro area. It'll let up for a little while. You see back here over Lake of the Ozarks, more continues to develop there. The heaviest snow overnight through the evening hours and overnight, definitely to the north again. Up in McCoupin County in Dorchester, 10 and a half inches. We've had reports of more than seven to eight inches over towards Vandalia. Farmington, the last report we got about an hour or so ago was three inches. And it was you work your way down here into Reynolds County, four to six inches already on the ground, still coming down. And there'll be places, especially south of St. Louis, where the snow comes down at the rate of one to two inches an hour as we head through this morning as that energy works in here from the west. Temperatures are in the teens now. They're really not going anywhere. And we will look at highs in the low 20s as this winds down metro area five to nine inches in general a few spots a little less a few spots with a little more we'll see you in a few minutes pat okay thanks a lot scott well of course the president's day holiday means kids were already off of school but we do have about 200 closings and cancellations because of this winter weather you can check it out on our searchable list of closings by just clicking on the red alerts bar at the top of the home page at kck.com but it's also scrolling along the bottom of your screen and you can stay on top of the forecast with our first alert weather app you can download it for free also free this morning a look at at your morning commute with Sarah Daly. Who said anything about free? Um, Did you? <laughs> <laughs> totally kidding, but uh, do allow yourself plenty of time if you are scooting out the door here this morning. Uh, roads are still eh, kind of here or there. It's a hit or miss situation when it comes to uh, where, depending on where your final destination may be. You can see here yellow sensors pretty much on every interstate in both Missouri and Illinois. A lot of Illinois drivers are telling me on Twitter that they are in decent shape. They're not having too many problems, except Illinois 157. Uh, I've heard some folks tell me that that's still pretty slick. So if you're heading out towards that, just make sure that you keep that in mind. If we jump out to our cameras, I can show you a quick peek at what 270 looks like at 367 here. Eastbound and westbound traffic definitely starting to pick 
take up just a tad. Uh, northbound 270, uh, I had a report that it's untouched at this point or appears to be untouched. We have seen MoDOT trucks go through there, so I know they've been out there, but it just keeps snowing, and so roads are still in, uh, pretty shaky out there. Take a look here at 70 east of Air Flight. You can see a couple of those tire tracks there going along 70 eastbound and westbound. A lot of drivers here tapping the brakes, so we're starting to make a little bit of headway there with some of that pavement coming through. But we are going to check in with Jim Tuxbury, who continues our team coverage this morning on the roads in Illinois. Jim, what are you seeing out there? I heard Illinois is uh, doing pretty well. I can tell you IDOT is doing a valiant job of keeping the roads passable here on the east side of our viewing area. I've been up all around the area, Highway 270 in the northern part, snow-packed but passable. That's from 255 all the way out to the Chain of Rocks Bridge. Once you head south on 255, it's a little less than snow-packed. I'd say it's just a little bit sloppy as you head all the way down to 5570. 5570 in pretty good shape. They ran the plows over there recently, so 5570 headed towards downtown. Things look really good. Right now you'll find me on I-64. I'm headed eastbound, headed towards Belleville in St. Clair Square area. Things look really good here. It's uh, covered with snow, but passable at about 40 miles an hour. That's a quick look at your morning commute. I'm Jim Tuxbury. Back to you guys. Okay, thanks a lot, Tux. And as Scott's been saying all morning long, some of the heaviest snow from the overnight really fell to the north of the metro area. And Ryan Dean was in St. Charles earlier, but he's now moved up to Troy, Missouri. And Ryan, how does it look out there? I'm sure you're seeing more snow. Yeah, more snow. So I would say maybe four to five inches of snow where we are. This is, uh, you can see the snow banks behind me. We've seen lots of uh, plows out, uh, kind of clearing the parking lots to different stores. We're actually in a Walgreens parking lot. Uh, light snow at this time. I know Bree and Scott said some areas, uh, some parts of Troy uh, saw six plus inches of snow. We're not seeing that exactly where we are. We're right off 47. Uh, as far as travel, though, we actually saw some uh, bare pavement uh, making our Way here on 61, though it was spotty. Sometimes you have completely snow packed roads, and then sometimes you have a little bit of pavement that you can see, but no slide offs, no accidents that we have come in contact with or seen. So that's really good news this morning. We're going to make our way back down to St. Charles County and we'll catch up with you there. That is the very latest Ryan Dean, News Channel 5. All right, thanks a lot, Ryan. And our team coverage of this storm goes to St. Louis County now. John Henry is live along I 270 near the West County Mall, and it was getting pretty bad there. I see traffic's picking up, John. How is it now? That's correct. Yeah, traffic's picking up here behind me. You can see the southbound lanes 270 here, and it's all happening as that snow continues to come down and continues to pack this roadway. Right now, there only appears to be one lane that doesn't have snow on it, but that powdery uh, snowflakes are just blowing onto it, still causing uh, some trouble and causing a slow down here on 270. Now, the majority of the area we've seen around this area, the 64 270 interchanges was like this as well earlier this morning. But the good news is that we have seen a lot of trucks out here trying to help with the situation. We've even seen some gang plows uh, consisting of three to four trucks at a time trying to help out on the road. Now, once again, they have a lot to deal with as the snow continues to come down, but certainly some good news. We haven't seen any wrecks along this stretch of area, uh, this stretch of roadway this morning. From West County, John Henry, News Channel 5. All right, thanks a lot, John. 608 right now, and of course, we'll have much more on this winter storm throughout the morning. Scott has an updated look at the radar in two minutes. And later, what weather phenomenon oh, has this veteran forecaster again, absolutely for, jumping for joy? Wow. And yes. if we want to share your weather photos, send them to us. Post them just about anywhere, but use the hashtag KSDKWX on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we'll show your pics on TV. And this morning, as you look over at the campus of SIU Edwardsville, snow on the ground, still coming down, still more on the way. We're going to get you caught up on what's going on with this storm and how long it's going to take before it gets out of here coming up. Welcome back. It is now 611. We are keeping a close eye on all of the road conditions because the snow continues to fall all across the St. Louis area. There's a live look right now. And Sarah does have a check of traffic in just a bit. But first, we want to toss it over to Scott Connell, who's been keeping an eye on the forecast. Lots of snow, Scott. Well, you know, the snow's still coming down. And depending on where you are this morning, there's spots where you're waking up 
and especially you go north of St. Louis, there's already eight, nine, even 10 inches of snow on the ground in Dorchester up in Macoupin County, not that far from St. Louis. Then you get down into South St. Louis County, northern Jefferson County, only an inch, maybe two. And then you go farther south and you get into three to five inches working from Farmington and Bon Terre, heading on down towards Centerville and Lesterville. And you're saying, oh, this is really strange the way this has worked out. Yes, it's been an interesting storm. We still have some snow north and west of St. Louis. Heaviest snow for the majority of the day is going to be down over southeast Missouri, southern Illinois. But you still have some action going on with the energy back there across parts of Kansas and Oklahoma. That energy still has to get through here. So while the snow will let up for a little bit at times this morning, Morning, it'll fill back in again going down 44 down 55. That's where you're most likely to encounter the heaviest falling snow for much of the day. Temperatures right now are in the teens wind chills single digits. I think it's safe to say we can just classify everything as red this morning as far as the roads go. Most of them are snow packed at this point. They're likely to still be very slick this evening, although the visibilities will be better and the chance for precipitation goes way down later today for St. Louis. It'll be pulling away. This storm will be fortunately not a lot of really strong winds with it, Sarah. So that's good news for us early this morning that we're not having to deal with a lot of snow blowing and drifting all over the place. Yeah, that's good news. And like uh, President's Day, like we said earlier, a lot of kids already had the day off of school and some folks don't have to go to work, so that's keeping everyone safe and sound at home. Take a look at this map here. This is from MoDOT. This is showing all the roads across the state of Missouri, except for these far northern points are completely covered with snow. So if you travel to Columbia, Kansas City, um, anywhere of that in those areas on 70, you're definitely going to allow yourself plenty of time. We also did hear that Mizzou has canceled classes today, uh, so that's another thing to uh, kind of keep in mind as well. So that's uh, just a side note as to far how bad the snow is across the state. If we jump out to our maps, we can see travel times here. Everything is yellow at this point. 40, 64 for your speeds, 40 miles an hour and under. It's about 17 minutes of travel time from Route K to 270, 25 minutes, if not more sticking around that 37 mile per hour mark and 55 northbound coming up from Jefferson County 23 and 45. You see these speeds uh, vary in different portions of the viewing area because of what Scott just mentioned. A lot of the snowfall totals are different uh, across the area. The system was a little bit different to handle. So just keep that in mind. The MoDOT and IDOT crews are out trying to treat these roads. And if we can quickly jump out to our cameras, I can show you that uh, we do have a shot of 141 out near Tesson Ferry and you can see here 21. Some of these uh, secondary streets still haven't even been touched yet. And you're just looking at what traffic has done that's moved through that area. So just keep that in mind and we'll pass along any accidents or things that you need to know about. Pat. OK, thanks a lot, Sarah. And you need to know about this. A tourist destination for decades on the St. Louis Riverfront is closing for good after today. Well, welcome back. We do want to remind you today is the absolute last time to visit the Museum of Westward Expansion under the Gateway Arch. It's because it's going to close for good at the end of the day. It will be replaced by a new museum with new exhibits as part of the revamp of the Arch Grounds. That new museum is set to open in two years. Meantime, the old exhibits like Chief Red Cloud and other animatronics will not be part of the new museum. We do want to let you know as well, the only way to access the Arch Grounds as of right now is at the old cathedral. You can't walk from the landing to the arch as you may have done in the past. You've got to make sure that you go. Yeah, I heard a, a report of some guy on Friday just walking around <laughs> aimlessly on the landing. Couldn't penetrate that, the Eads Bridge. Guy so you can't do that now. happened to be a Pat Magano. Oh, all right. Well, now back to our team coverage of the snow and road conditions. We want to check in with photojournalist Rick Meyer. Rick, what do you see? Morning, Nicole. Uh, what you see right now through my camera is about the best road conditions you're going to see. I've been in St. Charles County on 64 and 70. I've been in uh, uh, St. Louis County on 64 and on 270, and I'm currently on 44, just going across the Merrimack River. Uh, this is about the best that, you've, that I've seen all morning where you've got one lane open and some spotty stuff on the side. Anything that's off the main interstates that I've seen in all the different cities I've been in has all been just snow covered. Uh, if there's only one good thing that you can look at this, if your car had to sit outside last night, it's going to be really easy to get the snow off because it's real powdery. Just remember, also take it off your hood because once you get it on the highway, it'll blow right over your windshield and you'll be able to see again. Let's just be safe out there and not drive too fast. I'm going to send it back to you. All right, thanks a lot, Rick. Well, no school today for SIU Edwardsville students, and it's all because of the snow. Dana Dean is there live. 
really quiet and calm here, aside from all the plows uh, on the campus this morning at SIUE. Uh, they got about four inches of snow, but it is still falling. So that's only uh, we're only going to see more snow here um, before this uh, this storm is done. Let's get a look at some video. We recently just drove through Edwardsville and we wanted to give you a look at uh, the road conditions here off the campus. Uh, this is Route 157 near Edwardsville High School. You can see snow packed roads there. Um, now also uh, taken on the campus this morning. We have some video of this. This is dedication. You can see a man John Jogging in four inches of snow. This was taken at five o'clock in the morning. So there you go. <laughs> Some uh, workout inspiration for you this morning. And as we mentioned, a lot of plows here on the campus. Uh, so the roads here on campus look really good. Um, haven't seen many people at all because classes are canceled today. So we will keep you posted on what's going on here on this side of the river. Live in Edwardsville, I'm Dana Dean for News Channel 5. Thank you, Dana. We're seeing a lot of snow here, but obviously over on the East Coast, they're seeing even more. And Weather Channel meteorologist Jim Cantori is covering it, and he's very excited. And Matt, he got a little passionate over the weekend. Cantori and his crew filmed the somewhat rare phenomenon of thunder snow. Oh, again, again, that's a twofer. That's a twofer, <laughs> baby. Yes, again, that's a three. You gotta be kidding me. You can have your $500 million jackpot in Powerball or whatever the heck it was, but I'll take this baby. Four, four lightning strikes, four episodes of thunder snow. I can hear thunder. Wow, and that's not all. They would go on to capture six instances, Nicole, of thunder strikes. Yeah, baby! He posted the video on Twitter. He said it was, quote, a great day at the office. I think he likes his job, Nicole. That is a man who loves his job. We need to combine him and Money Man Matt Granite. Can you just yes. imagine how great that would be? Matt Granite can get the deals on the best outerwear for Jim Cantori to wear. Oh there you go. Okay, so how many rounds of thunder snow before you'd pass up $500 million? Uh, zero. Yep. Zero, <laughs> zero. We're, not saying we're, we're not passionate about it, too. We're taking the money and running. $500 million. <laughs> to a warm spot mm. somewhere, for yes. sure. Palm trees. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've got crews all across the area tracking the snow. We've seen some incredible totals, and we could see some or hear some thunder snow today. Mm -hmm. It's not out of the question, and if you hear it, definitely let us know. Uh, the best way to show us some pictures, hashtag KSDKWX. WX is the kind of universal abbreviation for weather, for severe weather in particular. And I have some I want to show you. This is from Kristen Dahl. This is a little four panel she shot us of what it looked like in St. Peter's this morning. That was, uh, she said, at least three to four inches, and that was about an hour ago with more snow on the way. Take a look. Red Tornado sending this in. Quite a name there. Snow in Farmington. You can see the haze in the light. And then we got a still shot of that jogger probably the most dedicated jogger across the STL right now. If you're out there jogging, send us a selfie. Yeah, jogging across the SIUE campus. As I said, we want to see your pictures, whether it's on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, whatever your favorite social media venue is, you are our eyes on the ground. Use that hashtag KSDKWX. We've got more snow, Scott. We're talking at least until about noontime before this really starts to wind down. Yeah, and the reason being is the energy still has to get here. And that energy right now, see that band of snow that's back across Kansas and Oklahoma? The energy's inspiring that right now. So the energy's working out of Oklahoma. It's got a ways before that thing passes through, that upper level disturbance actually goes through. Now, what that will translate into is the heaviest snow being across our southern counties as we head through the day today. But there could be another band or two that comes through St. Louis that's a little poignant at times a little later on this morning before all is said and done. Right now, the heaviest snow, probably one to two inches an hour down here into Reynolds County, across Iron and Madison County, over towards Perryville. It's a rough go at this point now, down 55, especially once you get down towards St. Genevieve and heading down towards Cape Girardeau. You can see there's a little patch out here over Franklin County, out near Girard. Right now, only about an inch and a half to two inches of snow in western parts of Franklin County. Not a lot. And this is the area where we think actually the least amount of snow will actually end up falling because overnight during the evening hours, we saw that heavy band of snow hardened to Jerseyville all the way over towards Vandalia. Most of the metro area, anywhere from an inch and a half to about four inches right now. Lambert's right at four inches or just shy of it. But again, this is the area down south where you're going to see those pockets of the heaviest snow through much of the day and where we're forecasting the highest totals 
of 8 to 11 inches. Now, there could be locally more. You folks down south have that potential to hear some thunder, especially later on today. And there's been some spots up to the north in those heavier bands north of St. Louis that ended up with 10 or more inches of snow like Dorchester. So again this afternoon, there'll be another little band that slides through. Then overnight tonight into tomorrow, we're looking at basically mostly cloudy skies. When the Arctic, the true Arctic front comes in late tomorrow, odds are it's going to bring with it some snow flurries or snow showers pressing on through the region and then zipping on out. And then that'll be followed by brutally cold temperatures. Our high temperatures may not even be as warm as they are right now on Wednesday. So temperatures now are in the teens. Wind chills are in the single digits, even though it's not all that windy. More of the same this morning. We'll still have some snow around through lunchtime. It'll vary in intensity. The areas that end up with the heaviest snow will likely see it the longest south and southeast of St. Louis. And again, that's where we're forecasting the highest widespread totals. But temperatures will drop into the teens tonight. 20s tomorrow, single digits tomorrow night. Wednesday, we're only in the low teens for highs. It's a windy, raw day. And look at Wednesday night into Thursday with snow on the ground, we drop into the single digits below zero. There's another system on the way for the weekend. I can't tell you exactly what it's going to do at this point. We're just trying to get through today. And traffic wise, if you are scooting out the door, we're tracking just a couple of accidents that have come across uh, here in the last minute or so. Um, you're taking a peek at 64 just west of Kings Highway right now. You can see that exit there off of Kings Highway uh, is backing up onto the interstate there. So we're clearly having some issues with that ramp. We also have reports of an accident 64 westbound at Boyle. Another accident on 270 northbound at Doherty Ferry here. You can see traffic on the right hand side. Uh, very slow going due to that accident and on top of the snow that's across the roadway here. If we jump a couple cameras south though, 270 north of Big Bend, you can see traffic moving there. 70 out near Air Flight. It's not too shabby. I mean, it's definitely not ideal uh, you know, conditions there. You can see MoDOT putting down some treatment or trying to plow, but you can also see those tire tracks there where traffic has kind of picked up a bit and left its mark uh, after they've traveled through that stretch. 4064 at Lake St. Louis, a bit further out west. Uh, you're in decent shape out there and same situation for 70 at K. As for Illinois drivers this morning, we've had nothing but uh, positive reports from the Illinois side of the river. The roads still have a little bit of snow on them, but overall uh, in pretty decent shape in regards to speeds and uh, the version or the road conditions there as you head into downtown St. Louis. So we'll see in the next couple of minutes. All right. Thank you, Sarah. It's 627. Our team coverage of this winter weather continues right after this. The Emmy winner for morning news. You're watching News Channel 5, where the news comes first. We have five crews spread out on both sides of the river along the major interstates to help you navigate the morning commute. Plus, Scott, Bree, and Sarah are using the latest technology to track this system and road conditions. News Channel 5 at 6.30 starts now. All right, welcome back to your Monday morning. I'm Pat McGonigal. And I'm Nicole Burley. Well, we finally got a pet. Finally got I know. the first significant snowfall of the season. And Bree and Scott, I know it's been keeping you guys busy over there in the First Alert Weather Center. It has, and we're watching these new tallies come in this morning. And, you know, the, the numbers just vary, huge variation. And even in one city, on one side of St. Peter's, it's close to two inches. On the north side of St. Peter's, it's a little more than three inches. So, you know, you can just go even in a city and find big differences. And in McCoupin County, Illinois, ten and a half inches in some mm -hmm. spots and still snowing. Ten and a half inches. The big deal here is that it is still snowing, so uh, whatever you've measured so far, get ready. Those totals will continue to go up, and it's this light, fluffy snow, Scott. Mm -hmm. uh, not the best snowman making snow. It does kind of brush off the car pretty quickly, but it can also pack down, and we're seeing it reduce visibility. This is a live shot, I think, of Television Plaza right there. Here's a shot of the poplar. Uh, definitely seeing fewer folks on the roads due to President's Day, mm -hmm. but we are still seeing problems. Yes, we are seeing some problems out there. Roads are really slick, too, and Sarah's going to get into all of that. Plus, we have team coverage with commuter dudes all over the place this morning, as well as our reporters cruising around looking at stuff this hour. Right down south across southern Missouri, that's where you're seeing that deeper shade of blue. Those are snowfall rates, one to two inches an hour. It might even be some rumbles of thunder, and we had this view really broad here 
to show you that there's still more snow back here into Oklahoma and Kansas. Reason being is the energy still has yet to work through the region. That band will probably fall apart and another band will likely develop along 44 here heading in through later this morning. So the snow is actually letting up again a little bit around St. Louis still coming down at a pretty good clip heading farther south. You go down 55, you go down 67. It's pretty sloppy, but again around the metro area, it's let up somewhat and areas to the north. The snow has become much lighter, which I'm sure all of you are saying good because you have eight to 10 inches on the ground already in a lot of spots. We'll continue to watch this area, especially from metro area down south along 44 in Missouri and along 70 in Illinois for the areas to get the additional heavier snowfall as we go through the rest of the morning. We're probably going to end up with five, six, maybe seven inches around St. Louis in most spots. But again, there are spots to the north with much more and there's spots that down south that are going to end up with much more temperatures in the low 20s this afternoon by two or three o'clock. Pat, we're just probably talking about a few flurries left over in St. Louis. OK, thanks a lot, Scott. Well, the President's Day holiday, of course, many kids had school off today, but we have more than 270 closings and cancellations right now because of this winter weather. You can check out our searchable list of closings by just clicking on the red alerts bar at the top of the home page on KSDK.com. A programming note, we do want to let you know, we will be going into the first hour of the Today Show because we do know that even though it's a holiday for the kids, a lot of people have to get to work today, and this will be a tricky commute for the balance of the morning, as you just heard Scott explain. So definitely look forward to that, and also check out our closings that are running along the bottom of our screen and also on our website. Nicole? All right, thank you, Pat. You can also stay on top of the forecast with our first alert weather app, which you can download for free from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. Sarah? Well, Nicole, we do have a couple of things to pass along, so pay attention if you travel on 70. If you're traveling 70 eastbound at Lucas and Hunt, that exit is currently closed. Uh, they have a vehicle that has slid off the road, so it will take some time for them to uh, remove that vehicle from the ditch and get it out of the way. Again, very slick conditions out there, all on and off ramps, bridges, overpasses. And speaking of 70, if you are traveling westbound out towards Columbia, we do have a tractor trailer that is uh, fully involved in um, with an accident right now, and it as is between um, the areas of Calhoun and Montgomery County. So if you are heading out that direction, both directions are currently closed or Callaway. I'm sorry, Callaway and Montgomery County and mile marker 165. So westbound 70 completely closed at this point due to a tractor trailer that is engulfed in fire on westbound 70. Everywhere else in decent shape, I guess, for what we saw or what we have seen in regards to snow on the roads. You can take a look here at 70 just west of the Missouri River. We have another accident here. You can see emergency responders on scene. A lot of folks slowing down to take a peek at that. If you are traveling westbound, it's a little bit lighter. 4064, there was an accident at McKnight, also one at Boyle. Those are both now clear, but do anticipate some slower speeds there. 44, I had a viewer, Ryan, on Twitter tell me that it had not been touched or appeared to have not been touched by any plows at this point uh, out near Hampton. So keep that in mind if you're uh, heading out that direction as well. So let's go ahead and check in with Jim Tuxbury. He's been out in the roads all morning long, keeping an eye on those road conditions in Illinois. Firsthand, Jim, what are you experiencing in regards to the commute? Hey, not too bad as long as you keep it slow this morning, Sarah. I've been everywhere on the major highways and some of the side, side uh, routes in Illinois. I can tell you that Highway 64 westbound from uh, St. Clair Square on into downtown is a little bit sloppy, snowpack. Um, you're going to roll about 40, 45 miles an hour through there. If you loop around on Highway 255, it's pretty well snowpacked until you get to about 60. Uh, highway 5570, uh, and then it can, it's kind of variable after you head north of there. Some some areas you'll get a lane, some areas it's completely snowpacked. So it just depends. Right now you'll find me on 255. I'm headed up right at 270. Uh, snowpacked roads here. It looks like the plows have been through here, I don't know, maybe a half an hour or so ago. So things are starting to, st the snow's starting to stack up here again on Highway 255. Uh, that's what's going on here on the Illinois side of the river. I am Jim Tuxbury. Back to you. Thank you, Tux. Well, our team coverage continues now in St. Louis County. John Henry is live along I-270 near West County Mall. Good morning, John. 
Hey, good morning, Nicole. Yeah, we're seeing a lot more cars on the roadway here in 270 as the morning commute uh, starts to rev up. You can actually see right down here behind me, though, that highway is still packed with snow. The only real lane that's uh, clear here is the lane that's been cleared uh, full of car tracks, but for the most part, you can see those trucks down there uh, going on a snow-covered road. Now, we've seen that uh, across the area this morning, too. Here's some video we shot uh, earlier in the morning around the 270-64 interchange. You can see it was covered as well, but other than that, we've seen a lot of uh, snow plows out trying to unpack those roadways of snow. Um, just make sure to give yourself some room while you're out around them as they're trying to do their jobs. More good news though, uh, we haven't really had many accidents uh, to really speak of along this stretch of roadway either. We know that there was a smaller accident a little south of where we are on Dirty Ferry, but other than that, um, no accidents to really speak of along this uh, 270 corridor where we are right now. Just make sure to take it slow for the rest of the morning. From West County, John Henry, News Channel 5.